you know Richard, Sir Richard Branson. You used to call him, what did you say? What was his nickname? Dickie B. Dickie B. That's like a real nickname that you said? Yeah, people that before he got into the whole billionaire game, he was just like an eccentric uh, regular guy. It's always been eccentric though, and always had that hairstyle. I like the hairstyle actually. Yeah. You should see what he's done with the rest of his the hair on his body. Okay, that's a, that's another conversation. It's amazing. <laughs> All right, we'll save that truly, for later. Truly, you, you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna check that out at some point. Now, as far as nonprofit organizations, are there any organizations that you're passionate about? Unless it would, depending on how much they're gonna, you know. No, yeah, I, uh, uh, yes, I mean, I, I, I love, uh, I love ones that, uh, helping out sound lame, but, but uh, kids, anything that's sort of, I'm big with the Toys for Tots and the Boggy Creek Gang Camp in Florida, and, and uh, I, I like to be a part of things that, that um, help people who are, are uh, the most vulnerable and, and um, unable to help themselves. So, so um, I, I think that's what um, both, both the Eve Branson Foundation and, and Virgin United do successfully. Um, and uh, the World Food Program is not, you know, any, I don't know, it's, uh, oh, I could go on. I'm a charitable. <laughs> okay, first, Jennifer, I'm going to start with your beautiful dress. Thank you. It's Temperley. It's Temperley? Yes, Temperley London. Okay, can we see it from the back? Can you do a little swivel, swivel? Yes. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. <laughs> so what inspired this dress? You know what? It was really comfortable, <laughs> and it was beautiful, and it was really comfortable to sit in all night. Okay, which that's, is yes, that's very important. Yes. yes. <laughs> now you've been on a lot of really great shows. What has been your favorite show to work on? Oh, wow. Um, I just finished a, a show called The Lost Valentine with Betty White. That was pretty amazing because she's awesome. Um, but I think I really like doing the Audrey Hepburn story. So who can we compare you guys to, Delilah Acoustics? Is there a comparison? Not really. I mean, the show is really, really all the. I mean, there's it. It has a very wide depth. It goes from country to to pretty heavy. So it's like you can compare one song that we do to something else. But as a set itself, it's. I like. We like to think that we're quite a unique sound. Yeah. Okay, so tell me, you guys, are you going to go into the spaceship for Virgin Galactic? Anybody? Uh, I, yeah, I probably am. I'm meant to be going on the first one, so. Are you going to be on the first one? I'm uh, meant to be, yeah. Okay. Are you a little nervous? Absolutely. <laughs> beeping myself, yeah. Uh, no, I mean, it's going to be an amazing experience and something that the opportunity to get to go to space and all the attributes that come with that are amazing. But, of course, like any sane person going two and a half thousand miles an hour out of the Earth's atmosphere, it's slightly nerve-wracking, yeah. Is there a training for that? A little bit of training, there's a couple of days, fitness testing and things like that, but nothing too major. The beautiful lady in red. <laughs> I'm Madison, by the way. Nice to meet you. And you're a Genevieve? Genevieve Jackson. So that sounds like a really famous last name. Would you by any chance be related to one of the Jacksons? Yes, I am. Okay, and which one? Um, my father is Randy Jackson. Wow, so if your dad is Randy, that means you could probably do what? I can sing. <laughs> yes, of course you can. Okay. So now, do you have any projects coming up that we need to know about? Um, yes, at this moment, I am working on my album. So look out for it next year. I don't have a title yet, but yeah, look out for it. Wow, I'm super excited. And you look absolutely beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So did you, did you decide to do red because for the red carpet, or is that your favorite color? No, actually, it's to represent virgin. Yeah, so it's a big thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now tell me, what kind of sound are you? Are you a? Um, um, well, I do pop, dance, R&B music. Um, it's hard to explain. Pop could be anything, but just look out for. It. I'm sure everyone's gonna enjoy it. So now, out of all of your musical family, who's like your biggest inspiration when it comes to music? Honest, I can't pick one. It's my whole family. Like they're all very, very talented, and they all have that drive. So it just inspires me to work harder and harder and get to that point. You know. Okay. So when can we expect your debut album? Sometime next year. Hopefully by the summer. 